this smoke. What the hell is going on here? Yo. All right. There we go. There's smoke in the air. And that means two puff smokers back to bring you another stupid stoner interview. Tonight's guest, the messenger. Let's get into it. I'll message him. See when he's getting up online here. Because he's well honestly not on live yet. But we'll wait. We'll wait for him. Give it a minute. Give it a minute or two. Uh I think the longest I've waited is uh half hour, forty five minutes, so so we'll get we'll give it a half hour window, and if he ain't here, then unfortunately we'll have to do our thing somewhere else with something else. All right. <clears throat> hey. I know that guy. What's up, Pierce? Thank you for the likes. I will be on um da 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 da. da. I'll be on Fortnite a little bit. All right. I can't play tonight because it's time to watch TV and I have a limit on the game. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's up tomorrow, though, around 6 if you want, we can. All right, that sounds good. I will definitely see if um, Letitia wants to play, too, because we've been desperately needing a better team. (laughs) Heck yeah. Da, 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 da. Uh, Fortnite with my nephew. Guests. I cannot accept your guest request because we are waiting on the messenger. There he is. How's it going? How's it going? What's good, brother? How are you doing? Uh, uh, I could definitely be better, but getting through it. So, how are you tonight? And share a, share with us a little bit about a bit about a little bit of baby shiny baby. Share with us a little bit about yourself. Um. What's your name, who you are, like, where you're from, what you like to do um, outside of music and your hobbies, things like that. So I'm Bryce. I'm going to answer my dual question real quick. I'm from Baltimore. Okay. Um, I'm Bryce. 
I'm from Baltimore. I grew up rough in a very fast pace. So I learned how to prevent others from going through the same thing. Okay. I've learned to master anything I've done. And I've learned to do it from one side of the fence to the other. So now I'm just doing it the harder way, which is the right way. Right. It's not no real motive except for the fact life is too easy. Right. I like to educate. I like to learn. I like to self-discipline and challenge myself. I care. I absolutely love business. Yeah. Um, I'm a father of two kids. You know, I'm a man of God. I love God before anything. My kids, my finance, my stomach. So, yeah. Right. Um, now, so basically how these interviews go, um, I get into the, like some personal questions, not too personal. Um, you know, just get to know who you are as a person, as an artist. And then we get into like some music questions. And then at the end, uh, there's some questions about other projects that are going on in your life. And then there's a question at the end that just is kind of like a curveball. So yeah, you, want sure. to get, you want to get into this? Absolutely. All right, let's do this. You said you want to interview me, so I answered the I, question yeah. you asked. All right, so to start, what's your favorite food, song, and place? Like your favorite place to physically be? Honestly, I gotta say Chinese. I like Chinese. All right, both fan. Man. Who who don't like Chinese? though? No, seriously, <laughs> but you can you can literally just sit there all day at that buffet, just getting plate after plate, and <laughs> that's the way I like to spend my money. The way it makes quality, you know. But so, favorite place. My favorite place is anywhere peaceful. I don't really have a favorite place. Somewhere that welcoming okay. and uh, it's peaceful. I fit in all the environments, okay. from the most harshest to the most richest. Um, what else was your other question? Uh, your favorite song. My favorite song? Yes, like if you had to listen to one song, what do you like the song? It's actually a gospel song. His, okay. his name is Brian Trejo, and it's called Let It Go. And basically what it does is encourage people to let them know that if you want to get close to God, you got to let the worldly life go. So, uh, yeah, it'd be Let It Go by Brian Trejo. That's what helped me get through my life. Hey, that's a good that's a good answer. I like that you actually had that like in your mind already too because it's something I encourage people to listen to. It help me get through life. Definitely. Definitely. What's up? What's up, reckless? Um, and then uh, is there anyone special in your life? Uh, family, friends, significant others that you want to give a shout out to. I mean, the only shout out I'm going to give out to is the people who follow, you know, and uh, realistically, my guy Ink on my mods. Ink is one of my business partners down there. Okay. Um, but realistically, my kids, man, my kids, you know what I'm saying? My kids is what keep me going. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Get that. 100%. Um, You're a mod now, bro. Now, you know, I and, noticed um, some ink. Um. Now, what's your uh, most meaningful, your biggest piece, and your most painful piece? Oh, tattoos? Yes. My most meaningful. Yes, your most meaningful. I'm not going to lie to you. Everything about it is a story. Okay. You know, I don't know if you so it's all it, really like, Yeah, my whole arm is a lifestyle. So, up top. There was this kid named Freddie Gray that got killed by the police. TikTok, I speak at educational purposes only. Yeah. And uh, I knew him. And it's in my neighborhood, my house right here on my own. I don't believe in 
we have freedom of speech. So, you know, that's the Maryland flag wrapped around liberty. Money, power, respect. And I believe in money. I believe in power. I believe in respect. My whole lifestyle, I believe in blood money. Um, I lost both my mom and my dad to murder. So this right here, that was them. My honor to them. And uh, I mean, every single one of them got something to do with, you know, where I'm from, what I do. Like on my back, say, be more careful. Because Baltimore's called Be More. Yep, yep. Southwest Baltimore. And I stand for and represent. I just say, I got give. The wing. You know what the A stand for? I'm not going to say it on here. Yeah. You know? Um, everything has has a reason. Fear no one. So, always there forever discernment. I am having a good night. How about you, Poison? Absolutely, hey, bro. We w- we're whizzing right through these already. <laughs> Going right through the personal stuff real fast. Uh, so that leaves with one last personal one. Uh, what's your craziest story? Like, As you share, you know, we're like, like maybe, maybe anything. Maybe, maybe something that someone could learn from. Man, there's a lot of those, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know, Crazy I know. Story. Big, biggest moral of the story, like biggest hard hitting, craziest, like not, not like your craziest, like I don't know. I, I try, I try to keep it realistic. Like I don't want to hear you. No, I, no, you said you were a guy, so I, I get that. I and. And, uh, well, I, I'm not 100% in, but I try to right, be, you know, right. I, I definitely a sinner. I definitely a person that has, you know, problems. Right. But I'm, I'm going to say it like this. My most interesting story with my life would be <laughs> I was walking with my mom and my dad. Mm-hmm. Mind you, my dad is the one that killed my mom. Okay. Um, TikTok, I speak in educational purposes only. And uh, this is my stepdad. My father was murdered when I was eight. This is my stepdad. Killed my mom. Anyway, make a long story short. He, uh, we was walking. My mom was a, a dancer, per se. Okay. And, um, you know, we were walking in the city of Baltimore. We got robbed. Um, we were walking up, and I told my dad, I'm like, little man, you better get robbed. You know, I know the feel. I know what's going on. Right. Um, he's like, shut up. Right? I said, no. <laughs> in a matter of 10 seconds, there was a big old 357 sitting in my mom's face, and, and it was just in a matter of 10 seconds, everything flashed. After that, dude gave us a chance to run. I took off. You know what I'm saying? I'm already in the position. I'm not losing no more. I tucked my shit underneath my balls. I wasn't playing games. But anyway, make a long story, so I dip. As I dip, I almost ran into a police car. My daddy, he running. He said, go get him. In a matter of 10 seconds, the game was over. I got to say, that was the most incredible. Like, it could have went so sour. These people were heartless. And there was two of them. But the, 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 the biggest... Well, thank you. I appreciate it. You know... Um... You know, one of the coolest things about the situation was God was with us that night. These Absolutely. people were known. I'm talking about they had a string of robbers. And they're known for convictions of different things with the, with the thing. You know, and uh, I'm blessed to be alive, especially in that situation. Absolutely. But my daddy, he, he chased them down with a brick. <laughs> he, the dude left his bag. He dipped off. Yeah, it was, it was nuts. It was a whole movie. I mean, I have a lot of them, but that was the one combined that was like yeah man, I can in fast <laughs> I mean it caught us all three at one spot like boom that was it yeah 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 I get so that. I gotta say that was a story that well, I'll never forget and I learned something from it no matter how much you pay attention no matter how where you are it could all be over like that oh absolutely absolutely 
Damn. That's heavy hitting. I, I, I might need to take a second, man. That was like, damn. I'm in the process in the next five years. I'm actually going to have a book out. A friend of mine, an old time gangster, he, he retired and got out of the lifestyle. And there's a few of us that actually link up and talk. And TikTok, I speak it positive. Educational oh, yeah. purposes only. But realistically, when it comes to telling our story, man, we got nothing but stories to help people out. Yeah. And we don't speak off of sarcasm. We speak on real life. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? That's, uh, yeah. Like right now, there's a cop on my page as we speak. Shout out to Top Cop, man. He's a real life police officer, real tough. All right. And he's another person that encouraged me to, you know, keep doing good, man. And I nowadays, I'm, 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 I'm not dangling on my feet. Right. You know, I'm a law abiding citizen. I'm a, I'm a man of my community. I don't yeah. need to go backwards no more. And when I, not when I, for example, a law officer, a peace officer wants to say, hey, man. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing no, wrong with that. Not. It's just saying that you you changed direction, you changed your path. And, and that's the thing. There's so many youth out there. Sorry to keep it down. I'm at my job. I work with residents and stuff. But that's the thing. There's so many people out there that don't have direction. And I didn't have right. direction. I had a lot of consequences. Oh, yeah. But this is why I'm able to speak up and help people because I can prevent that. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So at the end of the day, that's the story I have. So, um, I remember That's what I'm doing. You earlier about music. You said you hadn't done music in a while, right? So, so yeah, I do. I wrote, I write poetry. Okay. You know, I like to write with a pen and piece of paper. I like to go old school. I like to really get into it. Um, music's been a way of a coping skill. Yeah. But I've never got on a beat and went crazy on it and never tried really to, you know, it's not, I didn't do it for that. I did it to get out of my mind. You right. know, I had a time with a double workshop, right? So at the end of the day, I started realizing that, um, you know, that pen and piece of paper was my friend and it won't let me down. And, uh, you know, I started writing and I found a lot of people who had interest into what I was writing about because it was real. Yeah. And, um, I had a potential offer last year, oh, about seven months ago. No, I've been on here about five months, so about four or five months ago or something like that. Um, You know, Jelly Roll and all them is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't use the exact name, but I'll say it like this. Part of his team reached out to me, and um, okay. they have over 30 million views on just one of the songs. And um, he's a huge, you know, huge player in the game, but he's a recruit, and he's this big. All right. And um, he reached out to me and uh, the and me. Yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, you know, but but the biggest thing is like I, I turned it down because it was something that was on the other option. You know, it wasn't something holy. It was something. <laughs> it, it was fucked, man. You hear me? Oh, yeah. it, was bad, it was bad. But he offered me damn. Yeah, we won't speak his name. You damn right, we won't. <laughs> but. I'll never get that thought, that image of how to do it out of my head. It will never delete for some reason. Damn. But to make a long story short, it potentially offered me $350,000 to change my life in less than a year. And I chose, you know, my, my faith. My faith is Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. You feel me? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, that was that. And it just gave me a reason to not push, take my time. Because I had Ice Spice jump on my live before. I don't know if you know who that is. Yeah, yeah. I've had people really reach out to me. I just did a music video not too long ago with somebody. I'll give a shout out to him. Old Bo God on YouTube. He's also a gospel artist. And uh, I call him the Tupac of the gospel. He said, gave me shivers now. <laughs> I feel it. But, you know, um. You know, life is beautiful, man. The bottom of the line, the moral of the story is never stop. You can fail 50 times, but that 51st time, you can succeed. Absolutely. As long as you give it a shot, you can never say you failed. Because, you know, once you stop, that's when you that's when you fail. Absolutely. So if, if you were to do things your own way, and let's say you, you acquired a record deal, like, on your terms, would you do it? Oh, my terms? On your terms. You don't got to do nothing crazy, nothing. 
I mean, I have so many amounts of income coming in right now. It's not to the point where I'm looking at money no more. Money works for me. I don't work for it. It's something of my foundation. Yeah. I don't see why I wouldn't. Now, if it's something that's going to hold my time away from my kids, because that's my motive for why I do what I do. I grind 24-7 for a reason. It's right. nothing but overtime. Right. You know, it's something I represent. But at the end of the day, if... if you want to have that time. I, yeah, I don't plan on you telling me when I can shit, piss, eat, and sleep. Or right. be around my kids. Right. My goal is to work three years straight doing what I'm doing, and I pray for success, and I'm going to get it because I committed to it. I sacrificed for it. Right. I dedicate my lifestyle to it. So at the end of the day, I traded all these things to be great in the name of Jesus. You hear me? I'm not taking yeah. no, 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 no credit. But at the end of the day, I want to say it like this. I did what I did so I could have time for my kids on my time. Right. But they don't got to work for no perf. They don't got to go through the battles and the struggles I went through. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. Um, so what, what was like, uh, a good portion of your music's like content that you would write down? Like, you like know, the genre? Mean? no, like not quite the genre, just more like the lyrical content. Like, like what, what, what's the target? Like, like, um, like if you could, if you could put down a line in your mind right now out of, out of like something that stands out. Like, what was the content of, of those lyrics? You know what I mean? Like, what like, what was the subject matter? Nothing but overtime, motivational. You know, I speak from the dirt. I grow flowers. Okay. So, I mean, realistically, uh, it, it, anything I do is going to be a better motive than my own. I'm not gonna have more than my motive. Absolutely. My motive is always gonna be bigger than my action. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I'm not just gonna do something for self reason no more. I don't have that in me no more. Right. Say God to have get a close to God, you have have a forgiven heart. I have a forgiven heart and I'm humble. And I can do a lot. I just I really choose to precise make things precise now instead of you know, jumping at one time per se. Right. Um, we were you were actually talking about uh like t teaching people and things like that. Uh, You're welcome, Dan. Thank you. Did you ever use your music to like teach people as well? So I never got into it. I, it's not that I couldn't. It's just right. something for some reason I never pursued. Um. I've always been uh, an honest, truthful man. So I never cut cards. If you ever heard that saying before, I never tried racing to I'm, I'm who I am. I stay in my own lane. Right. So if you're going to listen to me, you're not going to listen to me. But for me, it wasn't in rap. It wasn't in music. It wasn't in singing. It was just in, and this is how I speak every day. People right. get annoyed every day when they hear me fucking speak. Because this is how I speak. Yeah, and I'm consistent. I'm persistent about. It. I'm dedicated to what I say, and I live it. And that's where a lot, like a lot of people say, "Oh, bro, you so inspirational." Let me tell you something. Y'all inspirational. Y'all will make me inspirational. Y'all will make me keep going. You're the fuel to my rocket. Oh yeah. I couldn't take off without the fuel. You know, so everybody's in it together. You know, and um, I truly feel. I've had a lot of people tell me I'm going to be very successful and all my actions show it. But I don't look at success as in the mind, body, and soul. Yeah. You know, success is in the mind, not the funds. And um, again, I won't work for my money. My money works for me. I got so, a question in the comments. Um, where can we find you on social media? So I'm guessing they're like asking for your plugins. If you got like any plugins. So if they're talking music, I ain't got none. No music. Oh, well, maybe, maybe they're talking like Instagram or something like, cause like, thank you. Inspirational, you. Maybe yeah, inspirational I mean, you content. Me, you know, you could follow me on the messenger, uh, the, the, uh, TikTok. Uh, TikTok. Yep. I mean, I got a Facebook profile. Um, uh, so I'm not the best educated with words. 
you can follow me on Facebook. I have a, um, a profile that I'm actually becoming an upcoming figure. Um, you can follow me on that. Uh, the real Bryce Sino. You know, um, yeah. And then my Instagram is the real Bryce Sino. You know, and then my Snapchat, real Bryce Sino. You, know. you know, ain't nothing to hide. I, I'm all over. And, yeah, and I like I to tell everybody, one of the biggest things I want to let y'all know is you're not alone. You know, you're I not think, alone and you'll never be ashamed to walk by faith. You know, I think I remember why I actually originally asked to interview you. I think it was actually to uh, interview you for, like, your in, your inspiration and motivational speeches because I think that's what you were doing in your one of your lives that I came into. So seven out of ten lives, you know, I fuck around. I do dumb things, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, we all do. But, yeah. you know, seven out of ten of my lives, I try to be, as long as I reach, like, in this live alone, I got people saying you're a blessing. I got people saying you inspired me, like, thank you, this and the third. And this is why I do it. I don't get on here with a damn piece of paper and pen and read about it. Right. You, you know, you ask me questions, it's all the time. That's really who I am. I'm faking it to make it here. I'm, I'm exactly who I am. You know what I'm saying? Poor, rich, wealthy, you name it. You right. ain't going to take my soul from me. Heck yeah. So, um, what was. I, you know, I just, everything I do, I try to do for a better reason. I've had so much hate in my life growing up that I've learned how to not hate no more. And honestly, it makes me emotional because there's so much hate out there. Oh, and some there people is, just though. need a hug. There, dude. Some people just need a hug and say, I'm proud of you. Dude, actually, you're right. You're right. You're right. There are, there are unfortunately, sometimes, sometimes, yeah. I just had a little homie of mine found dead. TikTok, I speak in educational purposes only. I just found a little homie out there. Um, he, died. he reached out to me uh, about about three weeks ago, a month ago now, and uh, kept begging me, bro, I need options. I need options. I need options. But because of the circle he was around, I wasn't willing to go in depth and, 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 and let him infiltrate my circle. Right. You can't affect something if I got pesticides. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to do nothing. So I'm not going to let you create weeds in my garden. I felt guilty because I had a chance to get my opportunity. Yeah. And I didn't know the kid, but I liked the kid. And I liked the kid. I've been watching him for a while. You know, I've been watching him grow up on social media. I've been watching him do his thing. But he was always a humble kid. And, uh, you know, make a long story short, RIP the dude. He's gone. But... If I would have just gave him an opportunity, I almost felt like he could have been changed. And I, I think to myself sometimes it's my fault. But the truth be told is what it what it did to me is it woke me up and made me realize, like, damn, you know, here we go again. We're running out of time. Uh, so happen again, be more give another person another chance. Stop thinking for myself. I'm not Superman. I can't save the world. But I can start by changing myself. Because obviously y'all look up to when I change. Right. I might have been a gangster back then, but I'm a kind gentleman now. Exactly. Exactly. It's just to me, it, it's it's emotional because the kid was a good kid, man. He just didn't have that type of direction. He wanted to be the cool kid playing around with all the, you know, adults. No, I get that. I get that. Kind of reminds me of my sister's fiance who just took his life not too long ago. See, I'm going on nine years. So one of the biggest things I do on these platforms, man, is I try to let people know you're not alone. You're not alone and never be ashamed to walk by faith. So many people, I don't believe in God. That's cool. You believe what you want to believe. At the end of the day, I'm going to keep speaking what I'm going to speak because I promise you something. You're going to feel everything I say. Absolutely. And there's going to be truth behind those words. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Trent. I appreciate it, bro. Oh, you yeah. know, you're part of MBO, bro. We rising together, dog. It just takes time. You can't you build know, a house in the night. I actually spoke to a, a, another rap artist in a, a interview, right? And... Uh, Oh wait, no, it wasn't even an interview. It was just it was just a face to face like 
call, you know what I mean? Like, what do you call that? FaceTime or some shit? FaceTime. Yeah. All right. So, um, and he's like, right now, right now, this, this is church. Absolutely. This is church. You don't need to be in a church for it to be a church. You don't need a physical building. Well, that's the church unless you're talking to God, but in, in general, yeah, it's a temple. Absolutely, absolutely. But like when you're talking God, when you're talking spiritually, when you're talking about church. growth and he- uh, health and doing better and achieving and succeeding and learning from the past and bringing it to like bringing the knowledge to the next life or whatever's after right exactly so one of the biggest things i'm gonna teach y'all about manifestation the first thing you gotta have confidence you can't no doubt i like to tell people i live a, like i like i beat the da vinci code like i'm optic like i feel i literally walk on water i know it sounds crazy but like it's like i walk on puzzle pieces every time i think something something incredibly happens i got the power of god inside me i unlock something i didn't know i had yeah. I can't lie to you. I'm not going to make it up. I don't smoke drugs. I don't do no drinks. I'm, I'm sober as everything right now. TikTok, like, yeah. I speak on educational purposes only. The reason why I'm speaking on it is because y'all can do it too. He made us in his image. And once you understand and really believe that you're, that you're just the flesh, that there's way more to it, there's no way you can go wrong. It's divine. You can't stop the power of God. You just can't. I got a question from the comments. Um, who are your influencers? <laughs> Let's talk about who it was and to who it is now. Okay. Before it's El Chapo, you know, anybody like that, man. Anybody that was on the other side of the fence and that wanted to help the community. You know, Pablo Escobar. These are the kind of people I really looked up to. And um, now I look up to people like, I don't want to say I look up to them. I don't idolize them. I learn of them. I say like Steve Hardy, or Steve Harvey, excuse me. Um, I say Grant Cordone, Bryant G. You know, there's, um, there's a few of them, but... I learned from the successful how to eat, how they walk, how they talk, how they dress, how they act, what they think, you know, um, what they see, what they're around, what they yeah. drive, what they wear, you know, and that's where manifestation comes in. You got to learn it and you got to, you don't just, you don't just think it. You can think it all you want. It's called wishful thinking, but yeah. at the end of the day, you're wishful thinking and you feel it, you're building it, you'll eventually have it. And um, that's one of the biggest things about manifestation. You really got to truly believe without a doubt that you have the power to form what you want in life. And I promise you, I made it to that level. It's incredible. Okay. How you doing, Queen Love? You don't have to go to church to go to heaven as long as you do it right and believe in God. I don't know what to say to that. I'll just say this. Um, you know, I believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for me and my sins and everybody else's. Um, and to have a have an acceptance, you have to have a freaking heart. I don't want to get into politics and the religion. I don't. I'm not a pastor. Right. I don't want to give you all the wrong information. I just give you my truth. I'm just a messenger. Hey, that's all you can do. That's all you can do is give your word, give your version of the story. Because you know what? At the end of the day, ain't nobody walking in your shoes. Only you're walking in your shoes. You know, and, um, you know, like church, I, I don't go to church per se just right. to go to church. I go to church to learn. Absolutely. And I'm not one to read. I'm not one, <laughs> I'm not one to just read the Bible. I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't read the Bible in months. It doesn't mean I don't want to. It just means right. I'm lazy. My soul don't crave it like it's supposed to. Right. And at the end of the day, it don't mean it's not going to happen. It just means I need to focus more on what I need to focus on. I get on distracted. That's what everybody's problem is. Everybody distracted by something. Y'all got the same exact power as everybody else. The only difference is you don't know how to do it because you're distracted. Or you don't know how to do it, but you don't want to do it because you're lazy. 
Right. And that's the truth behind everything. You get up and do it. If you're hungry, you go to the fridge, right? Right. If you really want to clean your soul, you know how to great reset, you know fasting is an option, you do it. Not because it's hard, because you know how to clean your soul. Right. So, what are your current projects in life right now? Say it again? Your current projects in life. Like... Well, me and an investor, or me and a partner, excuse me, we just opened up something to a ministry with Good Brick. Um, so I work through two different things right now. Um, I'm working with bars to the bricks ministry. We just opened up a coffee shop in Kansas. Um, obviously it's their ministry, so there's a lot going towards that. I'm just an investor personally, but you know, the ministry does whatever the ministry does. Um, and I have another one is, um, good brick music. So, which is a friend of mine who is highly, highly in tune with God. Um, he's actually who got me to, you know, learn manifestation basically is from scratch. Um, and he is the, what I call the Tupac of gospel. I'd like y'all to go check him out. He's very popular. And, um, you know, if anybody helped me get to where I'm at, it'd be him. All right. you know, I was right. What, what are his plugins for like social media? Old Bogod. How do you spell that? How do I spell it? O-L-D yeah. O D. Yeah. B O G O D. Okay. Okay, okay. I think he okay. has a song by the name of Pride, and then he has a song by, um, in the name of Jesus, I think it's called. All right. But he's also a very highly profiled individual who changed his life. And, um, you know, now I got the books out, and I'm working with them right now on my own book, so... You know, these are friends of mine, so it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know how to add this person. Daughter of Christ is asking me to join, and I don't know exactly how. <laughs> but how you doing, Daughter of Christ? But, yeah, so, you know, realistically, um, if if there's any shout-outs that realistically need any help towards ministry, it would be them two things. Um, a buddy of mine, you know, he just got back from Pakistan, and he's been doing a lot of stuff. My brother Nick. And, um, you know, another shout out to people like him, man. Shout out to Inc. Shout out to Trendset and everybody else that's been next to me, man, this whole way. You know, this ain't nowhere near over. It just got started. We in the beginning, baby. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, who are some people you'd like to collaborate with, project, like, future projects in your life? Like, like high-profile people? Yeah, high-profile people. Or just in general, like just in general, in general, you can you can oh, generalize. Man, Grant Cordon, Grant Cordon, Steve Harvey, Brian G. Um, yeah, definitely them three for sure. Okay, I care. Oh. So is this a podcast? What is, what yeah, is this? Yeah, see, what I do is I, um, first I do, do the live. The audio? I do the live, and then I clip the audio. I clip it down for TikTok. I clip it down for Facebook and YouTube and all that fun stuff. And then I throw it all up. And then I'm just basically coming up with a product right now. You know what I mean? Uh, you can't, you can't sell, you can't sell something without a product. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, uh, being like, Hey, you want to buy, you want to buy, uh, these amazing new inventions that I came up with and then not having a prototype to show somebody Understood. like, like, uh, like a pizza cutter, like a brand new pizza cutter or something that, 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 State of the art saves pizza places. Like, yeah, I get what you're saying for sure. Yeah. 
Um. So how long do you see what you're doing? Like as far as investing and whatnot, how long do you see yourself being an investor? How long do I see myself being an investor? Like, 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 do you, do you, do you, do you plan on retiring to like an island one day? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so I'll say it like this. Even when I'm wealthy. Okay. You're just going to keep grinding. Until... I'll just have someone automating doing everything for me. Heck yeah. I will be a big part of helping a lot of people out constantly. It's just what I believe in. Okay. But the difference is I will not be doing it myself. No, I plan on retiring in the next three years. Okay. Nothing my goal, like my market cap is 35. 35? I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. That's actually a really good goal right there, retire by 35. If I, if I told you what I had last year compared to what I had this year in the last four months, yeah. it would be mind-blowing. Yeah. Because I did it all without a bank. I did it all without credit. I did it all without a legal activity. And I promise you, when I put everything on to this, all I did was believe. I had faith. I didn't doubt what I was doing. I didn't doubt what I was going through, the negatives that popped up. I didn't doubt them. I accepted them. I learned from them. And I overcame my obstacle. Heck yeah. I don't want to sit there and say, well, I've done this and it's going to sound like I'm trying to flex and whatever. No, no, no. I get what you're saying. Everybody's got their hurdles that they got to jump on their path. Like hey. I come to this job alone just because of the fact it's help. I barely get paid for this and I do 24 hour shifts. You know That's what I'm crazy. saying? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I really like to be. I like to be supportive to people who deserve it. Absolutely. You know, how are you tonight, Bryce? Love you, my friend. I'm doing good. We're just having an interview. So, but hey, so real quick, um, what is your name? Uh, you can call me Tupac. Tupac, gotcha. So realistically, Tupac, um, so you will have an audio if people want to find or listen to this, correct? I have audio for it. Yeah, like something that somebody yeah. can click yeah, on, it'll be on Spotify. On. It'll be on Spotify, uh, it'll be on YouTube, it'll be here on TikTok. I gotta make I sure I follow all that so I can share the link. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I, I will actually uh, send you my link to my Facebook, that way you can follow closer. Absolutely. I, I usually uh, post my links up there for everything, music. Thank uh, you, Gloria, thank you, Tara. Interviews. Uh, other artists that I promote, things like that. So what are the questions you have for me? I love this kind of stuff, man. I feel like I'm meant for this kind of stuff. What else can we expect from you in the future? <laughs> I, I can't limit myself. Either. I'll just say a bunch of success. A bunch of success, a bunch of effort to help a lot of other people. Um, realistically, I think I'm going to have my own ministry. Heck yeah. I really do. I think I'm going to have my own ministry. So I want to say stay tuned for a possible ministry. It's going to be called GPS, God's Protective Surveillance. All right. And, um, it flies, man. And, um, you know, realistically, I truly believe I'm here to help. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that because I mean, I, I. If only you knew how much I took and how much I've done. Yeah. Which we won't get in detail with that. But I'll just say it like that. But I was a problem, my friend. I get that. I get that whirlwind just blowing through, just fucking chaos, causing chaos. I've been there. I've been there. It's maybe not on your level. Maybe. Competition. It's all about change. Right. Exactly. Going in the right direction. Man, we're not here to glorify negatives. We're here to promote positive no. and inspiration. So we're actually getting close to the end here, and 
I think I have one last question. So if you want to just talk, shoot the shit. Yeah, for sure. Say what you got to say. Say what you got to say to people out there that that you feel uh, would really push people in the right direction, maybe. You're you know, amazing. Maybe. Send me your YouTube name. My grandson needs to hear your message. He's in the dark. Absolutely. I'll make sure everybody gets the link. I'll be posting it. Get him out of depression. I have time to devil workshop. Um, so so you want me to to just basically go off of freestyle? Not yeah, music, just, but like just, as in what's on my mind. Yeah, just freestyle what so, what so to everybody watching, number one, I'm gonna let you know everything they told you you cannot do, you absolutely can. I might be young, you might be saying, Well, what do you know that I ain't already done? It's not a challenge, it's not a competition, it's not a race. At the end of the day, everybody's equal. The only difference is others are more distracted or more lazy. And I'll say it like this again. Everything you do affects everyone and everything around you. So look at it like this. If you're nice to the next person, that person might have just gone lit the whole up block. And instead, because that person was nice, they realized there's good people in this world. They might have took that change and said, step back and said, damn, you saved my life. Yeah. And you saved eight others. Thank you, everybody. All praise be to God, not Bryce. But, you know, that being said, um, you know, realistically, everything you do affects everyone and everything around you. Never be scared to ask the question, are you busy? Right. Do you got a man? It made me emotional speaking like this because I lost so many people because I told them I'm busy. That I gave them more opportunity to chase me than me reach my hand out and help them. And there's been so many. So many. And, you know, I have to take responsibility for a lot of these things because I could have put them in position. I could have. I chose not to because I felt they didn't deserve it. And it's not fair for me to be the judge. You know, a lot of the things that I go through is my own depression because I don't got real friends, right? People are either scared of me, intimidated, they want to use me for my positives. Um, and and um, realistically, you know, you... There's no such thing as failure unless you quit. Again, I said it earlier and I'll say it one more time. You can fail 50 times, but that 51st time, mm -hmm. you can succeed. And it's the truth. Anybody successful, it don't happen overnight. It took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears and sacrifice. You ain't got self-discipline, you ain't got nothing. You got, you know, you can't build a house overnight. It takes time. Right. And the truth be told, if you ain't got rock and solid foundation, you can't build. I'm not going to tell you to run to Christ. I ain't going to tell you not to. I'll tell you what I've done and what I've gained. I believe in God. And I believe there's only one. And I believe in Jesus Christ saved my sins. Right? Right. I don't believe in Christianity. I believe I'm a Christian. That's a lifestyle. It's a choice. Make the right one. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's really, you know, all I really got for others is just let you know you're not alone. There's so many people going through what you're going through. Some just don't know how to speak. Don't know how to say, hey, it's embarrassing. I need help. Yeah. You know, I had somebody who was actually on here earlier. Just called me, bro. I'm ready to, you know, tell out, let it go. Yeah. I'm like, bro, you got to stop. You got a kid. Right. You're selfish for that. Right. Back in the day, I'd be like, hey, man, look, you want to do it, just do it. Yeah. That type of heart is a wrong heart. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, you know, life is too beautiful. And it's too fast because once it's gone, it's gone. It's true. I encourage everybody to do something positive. If it's buying that person's gas. Helping the homeless, I swear they're going to do some drugs or drink something afterwards. Ain't none of your business. No. Help your neighbor, Help man. Out. You know, take, it take a village to build a community. Just like it take a village to grow cheap and to build a child. You know, you can't just be perfect. Everybody has a place in life, whether it's education, whether it's their hands, whether it's their, their mouthpiece, whether it's their, you know, their feet, their movement. 
Everybody has a position in their life to do something. Yeah. And instead of just giving up, keep going. And like my man Brian Trejo said, I wish he was on here. Let it go. Go look up that song, man. Brian Trejo, let it go. It's amazing. It helped me get through all my struggles this year. Now, you were talking about uh, wishful thinking. Uh, sorry. Tripping over my tongue again. You were talking about wishful thinking earlier. Uh, at the end of the interview, I asked... If you had three wishes, what would they be? So what would your three wishes be? The things that I could wish for, I wouldn't say wish, I pray. Because again, prayer works. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say wish because I don't believe in wishes. It's like believing in contradictions and, 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 and jinxes and shit. You know, right. I believe what I pray for, I get. And I'll say it like this. This is what I pray every single day, at least five times a day type deal. And Jesus, now I pray for wisdom. Jesus, now I pray for knowledge. And Jesus, now I pray for understanding. And Jesus, now I pray for unlimited resources. And Jesus, now I pray for unlimited finances. And Jesus, now I pray for unlimited guidance. Lord, Father God, protect me. Hear my prayer. In Jesus' name, man. That's all I do. When you wish or believe in magic, and this in the third, I believe you're altering your mind. You're limiting yourself. When you know that you have the power of God inside you, I truly believe you're unstoppable. I don't walk around with a strap. No need. I don't run from the no need. I don't do this in the third no more. There's no need. Right. And like I told you, I don't work for my money. My money works for me. I truly believe the money chased me. I don't chase the money no more. I don't I care about the money. The money's an object. It's as good as this cup. Right. So if there's anything I pray for, man, it'd be world peace. If there's anything I pray for, it'd be to educate this youth. If there's anything I pray for for my third one, man, people are poor out there and they think they ain't got no option. Stop worrying about objective, materialistic things. Just worry about what you got, basically. Yeah, I mean, you know, like I've never grew up with nothing positive. Right. And now I can rock with $350 belts. I have just this shark alone, you know, be worth value. And it's not about that. Can I rock it? Yeah, I can afford it. Why would I? But it doesn't mean I put this above my priorities. You know what I'm saying? I don't put that above God. Right. It's a person give my kids up to God. I give my stomach to God. I give my mentality to God. I put my finances to God. I drop my wife for God. I drop my family for God. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't right. chase things that don't make sense. Right. And if it don't make sense, it don't make dollars. I'm a businessman. I believe God put me on here to put many perspectives in place. I'm also one of the people that'll break you down and build you up to the fullest ability. I don't play games. I never play games, and I'm not sarcastic. So when I speak normally, people listen. and and if anybody's here listening, just believe. Stop doubting. The person who doubts is the one that don't succeed. I have to agree with that 110%. You, you have to start believing in yourself in order to get anywhere. you got to change. You can't have the same direction as all your other generations if they're trash. I'm the fourth generation. None of us did anything. And I promise you this, I broke my generation almost six years ago. It's crazy, man. It's, crazy. it's not crazy, it's powerful. All praise be to God. Okay. This has been a great interview, man. Thanks, bro. It's been an honor, brother. And I'd like to say, I hope you have a great night. Um, 
this will definitely be posted up on Spotify, YouTube. As I, as I said before, I will link you up. And I hope you have a great night, man. It's, it's been an honor. You too, too, Puff. I appreciate the interview, man. Hopefully you had a good time. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you have a great If there's anything I said, what sticks in your head the most? <sighs> letting go, man. Just letting go. That, that, like, just letting it all go, man. That's, that's. Do you have stuff. music next to you one time? Do I have music? Yeah, I got, I got a little bit of music. Um, I'm asking, would you be able to play that song for the viewers one time? Oh, oh, that song. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah I'd like everybody that. to hear that one time because I got the same five people that keep coming back and always been there. I want everybody who's listening to this right now, I want you to listen to this song. Okay. And I want you to feel what changed me. What was the name of the gospel again? Let it go. Let it go. Brian Trail. Oh. How could I forget? <laughs> Brian Trejo. T-R-E-J-O. You're here, buddy, gotcha. to listen. It's a good song. I tune in and listen to this song, y'all. Let it go. This is Power Pop. Jesus it's Christ emotional. Whatever it is, you hold it. Trust God. In every situation. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm crying, y'all. It's deep, man. Silent echoes, whisper in the hallway. Be about to scatter in a place they put it up.
the song also. message I have for everybody. Man. That song got me through so much in the last two months that every so, time I hear it, it make me motivated. So I'm not going to lie. I came into this interview thinking that I had scheduled it because it was a music interview. But then later on, I started to realize it was supposed to be an inspirational interview because I came into your uh, live and you were speaking it very inspirationally. And I was like, man, I got to get this guy. I got to get him for the podcast. I got to get him for the show, you know, like. He's going to say a lot of positive things that I think a lot of people really need to hear. And I, I just realized, like, shoot, you, 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 the most important thing that I, I've had to hear all week, honestly, because, like, I'm going through a lot right now. My head's been a whirlwind, and the best advice that I've heard let it so go. far and let it go just let it go as nothing happens for no reason everything happens for a reason and i didn't book, i didn't book this interview for no reason there was a reason and this is it this was it like i knew i knew months in advance i needed to hear something and this was it and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even know on a level, consciously. You know what I mean? It was all subconscious. It's because of the great That's power. mind blowing. Mind blowing. It's, it's a greater power of energy that attracts us. No homo. No, it's no, like no. I'm no, speaking I get positive that. energy only. Um, but there's an energy that attracts each energy. It's called genuine. I'm a genuine guy. Everything I say is a fact. It's my life, so I can tell you my truth. You know, rich or poor, someone's going to judge you. Uneducated or, or, or mastermind, somebody's going to judge you. So at the end of the day, if you had to hear Let It Go, then maybe you should listen. Yeah. Let it go. That's all I can do, man. That's all I can do. That's all we can You're all not do. Alone. That's all we can all do. Exactly. You Just think we don't have go. stuff to let go? <laughs> no, you're right. Everybody's got to let all that, all of it go. When I when I left my my wife, okay, I got back from California. I was out for there forty days or fifty days on business. Oh I got my wife. That was my sacrifice. Without going into too much detail, but I made an alliance with my God. And I told him, I'm like, look, I'm willing to give it up all. 
for better success. Education, mind, body, spirit. Better, faster, stronger, nothing but overtime. And I came up with that. And I promise you, it's going on a year straight. And I own a house. I, I, there's a lot of stuff. I'm not even going to detail no detail because it's not relevant. But the Lord has given me so many blessings. And not just for myself. Just off TikTok alone, the house that I'm buying, it's off TikTok. I met her off TikTok. She went on my live. One of my investors yeah. is off TikTok. I met him in my live. These moms that are supportive, all from TikTok. I don't know none of these moms. Right. So my speaking is powerful. Yes, I can never disagree with you. But if anything I'm hearing is let it go. Absolutely. Not justify it. Not tell yourself it's going to be okay. A man can't grow in a broken home. So if it's a broken woman, it's a broken it's a broken family. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Absolutely. You know, sometimes it's not me because I'm not consciously thinking before I speak. I'm yeah. telling you what I know. Right. I'm telling you what I live. Right. You know, what helped me. And if you're hearing what it's supposed to be, then that's what it's supposed to be. Only you know what's going on right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. The top cop said, let it go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's I'll amazing. Go. In three words. It's more powerful than a hurricane itself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, man, yeah. it's all love, brother. I, I, I honor the fact you gave me a reach out to do an interview. I hope we killed it together. TikTok, I speak of educational purposes only. Um, anytime you want to do this, man, I'm down, especially if it's for your right motive. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, definitely. Because my motive not. is always going to be bigger than my action. And now that uh, I have an idea of what the next, what I want to do next interview, and you know what I mean? Just toss out it right out. No script. So I'm actually in the process of making my own podcast. Yeah. I care. And, um, I don't know how to do it. So let's say you have a podcast. Maybe you're here to help me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I could definitely help you with that. My podcast is going to be specific for people who struggle and want to know that they're not alone. You know what I'm saying? And to get out there, it's hard. I gained 30, I'm almost, I'm almost on the road to 32,000. It took me less than six months to get that without effort. So I know there's a reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. Right. So. Right. No, oh, absolutely. I could give you the information um, as far as applications to use and things like that uh, for it all. Um, it's actually very simple, very easy. I'm not going to overcomplicate it for you and be like, okay, now you need to get this. The exact thing you need to transfer to Apple, this and the third. Because I have so many people that want to buy merch and so many right. people that want to you know, do this um this podcast and I just I honestly I don't know where to start. Right. I can definitely help you with that. I can definitely help you. Um it's I actually don't mind helping people. I love pushing people in the right direction with their dreams. Well I'm glad I I really hope this podcast touched a lot of people. On my side I got quite a bit. I don't oh, yeah. know about your I mean, I don't have like a hundred people in my life, but I'm sure that the people that were here, I mean, they felt some inspiration. I'm definitely sure of that. Well, let me explain something to you. It's not about the numbers. If one person heard it, even if it was yourself, right, it was worth it. Absolutely. Absolutely. You gotta think all these people, these millions of views, you know, thirty, forty percent of that is bots. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? All paid for views. Yeah. And they got the money to pay for it. 
So don't even look at it like that, bro. I, I mean, now watch this. Hey, chat. What did y'all think about the interview? How do you think my man Two Puff did? Yeah, unfortunately, I can't see your side. I can only see my side. <laughs> well, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on answers. Okay, okay. How do y'all think my man Tupac did? He is good at it. There's one. That's from Tara. Okay. I definitely appreciate that. Here's another one, Ricardo. I think it was good, man. Top cop, on point, great interview. Ricardo said he loved it. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, I mean, there you go, man, you know. No. Three no, people to his top nine. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's quality that we could have got off of being beginners. And it's yeah. always going to go up. You just exactly. got to dedicate yourself to it. Exactly. And I, I, I got, I've got plans to make it bigger, better, and expand more and more and more. So that, it, that's my plan. Like, I mean. Where are you located? Me personally, um, I'm up in New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Up in New England, in over Midwest, by Massachusetts. I'm off the Wisconsin area. Uh, all right, all right. Yeah, I, I have some friends out there. I, I'm a, one of my family members are actually in Massachusetts. But yeah, so realistically, my next goal is merch, which I've been telling everybody. Merch is coming soon. And in my podcast, I just don't know where to start. I have the time. I have the finances. I have, damn near, I have the equipment. Well, I'm going to tell you right now the time. Where to jump. Yeah, the finances for the podcast, I mean, you could use, you can use free apps for that. Like, it, you don't even need to go spending out thousands of dollars for applications because it makes no sense, like, when the same quality is right there on something that's free. You know what I mean? Like, why? <laughs> it doesn't matter. So, um, there's, there's, there's an application called, actually, hold on. What is it called? I have so, it. why don't we do, why don't we, you, you add me on Facebook, right? All right. Yeah. And we can go, we can go through more details and whatnot. Um, and Another I want the time. link because I'm gonna put it on my Facebook as well. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, definitely. Um, I will tell you right now, I am a bit behind on posting interviews to TikTok now um, due to my sister's fiance committing suicide, unfortunately. Seven uh, Um. Yeah, and and a month before that, my grandmother passed of cancer, so it was kind of <laughs> it was kind of a punch to the gut as soon as it happened. So, so I, this is going to be very tough, right? To hear me saying you don't know nothing about me. Don't let it stop you from what your passion is. No, I'm not. I'm actually using emotion and business cool. is a very it's a conflict. It's a conflict of interest. Even if it's your parents, your kids, you gotta have the mentality to keep going, not pausing. Procrastination is a disease. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. And I say it respectfully. I don't. I feel. No, 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 no. I get that. I just, I just took some time to grieve, and then things just started stacking up, and then I was like, damn. I really got to get back to this because if I don't, if I don't get back to this, nobody else is going to do it. Nobody's going to do it for me. And then I'm just not going to look professional and it's not going to look good. And and that's the way you got to look at it from a business side. If somebody's in tune with what you got going on, they're going to be curious on, oh, well, you know, that sucks. But what about my thoughts now and my feelings? And I needed this because it helps me cope. Right, right, so, right. In a business perspective, that's the way you want to look at it. But realistically, mirror the my condolences to you, man. My heart goes out to your family and stuff. But I want to encourage you to get it done. Oh no, I have been, man. I have been that. And this interview, um, honestly, I needed it. I needed to hear the you know, this church moment. You know, needed to 
hear this truth. I, I got to let the things go. Do I you believe let in God? Go. Do I believe in God? Um, so multiple deaths have made me question on and off if I have. Oh, I don't judge. I'm it, just curious. I like to hear this, other people's side. With this past, with, with this last one, yeah, I believe in God because I believe he took them. Because he, he was, you know how they say the good die young. He was too good for this. He was too good for this earth. You know what I mean? He, he had such a big heart. He loved everyone. And unfortunately, everyone saw that open heart and just put a knife in it. I'm going to give you last words of encouragement, per se, to help me get through something. When I go through a rough patch, like, for example, I lost both my parents to murder. Right, did five and a half years. My kids ain't gonna grow up without grandma, grandpa. I found my grandfather dead, heroin junkie. I'm not nine years clean, whatever. But the hardest when you go through, like for example, I questioned why me? Why did I lose my mom and my dad? Right. Right. That's a selfish person asking a question. Right. I feel like it was almost like a trophy, like a rank from, from God himself, me losing, because it's it's nothing but a gain. I know that sounds selfish and crazy, because it's emotional talking about it. But at the end of the day, you're able to help so many people by what you go through. It's like literally it's a reward. So I feel like the more things I've been through, it's just going to be honored in the long run because in a real, in a, in a realistics of it, you'll never see that person again. You here for one position and you end up getting emotional and getting attached. That was never the goal. The goal right. was to love God and honor that God. That was it. it. Had nothing to do with family, friends, beautiful pets, this and the third, none of that. Right. So we got distracted. Our generations before time got distracted, right? So at the end of the day, if my kids were to be taken from today, I'd have to cut my mind off and start over. Right. Doesn't mean it's something I won't want. Doesn't mean I don't love my kids. Right. You see what I'm saying? But you got to understand priority. It's like if my kid was on, if, if my two kids was on one bus. And there was 15 kids on another bus. Respectfully, I'm going to pick the 15. Right. That's leadership. That takes a lot of men to be able to say something like that. I love my kids to death. You know what I'm saying? But. You have to make the hard decisions. The probability of them being successful compared to 15 others. I mean, it could be wrong, but I, I, I want to say. You know what I'm saying? I never educated, but the 15 others on that bus, I feel there's a bigger probability for them to save the earth or save for the next generation. Right. Does that make sense? No, I do. I get it. I get it. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. It's not easy being a leader, let alone being positive. Yeah. So for the ones that go through all the hardship, look at them as a positive because you're not here for yourself. And the ones that are here for yourself, you're going to have a great check soon. And it's not going to be a good one. It's going to be negative, man. Because all storms come with good and bad. Absolutely. In the Bible, they call them season. And I encourage you when this one comes, be prepared. It will wipe you the fuck out. I don't know, I just feel like the things that you're going through is something that someone else can relate to. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I just feel like you losing them and it being so close to you was not a negative thing. Oh. It was God telling you thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you can handle this. You're going to help somebody I need for my team now. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. You know, they got a saying, God only gives what we can handle. Absolutely. I just believe you're a powerful individual, my friend. There's something going on. I appreciate that. 
and I, I, I gotta say the same because that's uh, that's why I made that's why I made this happen. That's why I made this happen because I saw your interview, not your interview, your live, and I was like, man, this this is powerful. Like this this is this needs to be seen. Like it needs to be on the show. It needs to be heard. And I was right. What needs to be heard is God. That's Bryce Moore God. Because at the end of the day, all this can be took. Remember, this is just temporary. Let it go. This ain't yours. This is just a a moment. Right. I mean, I pray for you to be completely successful with it. Don't get me wrong. But I don't look at money. Right. I don't care for money. You know, um, I have a lot of it because I never cared for it. Right. In my opinion. And I feel like when you don't focus on it as much, but you believe you have all your resources. For example, I pray for resources and finances, unlimited. Right. I truly believe that's why I live the way I live, powerfully the way I live. I'm rewarded for my loyalty. Right. And I don't think my God's going to disrespect that. Because he lives by loyalty. You know what I'm saying? Like Absolutely. Absolutely. I just don't see that happening. So I don't think like that. Like my mentality right now, my reason for meeting you, I feel, is not because of my own reason. It's because someone down there heard that. Right. Someone down there felt that. And one of the guys said, what she say? She said, you're amazing. Send me your YouTube name. My grandson needs to hear your message he's in the dark yeah with depression so you know i, I just i and it's not just them i mean there's a lot of people in here saying thank you you helped me out you're inspirational Absolutely. but at the end of the day just lifting that one person up you know what i'm saying as long as you help one person that's what matters Absolutely. It's not a goal to set off 10. It's not a goal to set off 20. The goal is to change. Right. And once you make change, you got to start with yourself. Once you start making change, you got to keep it. Because then you consider hypocritical, fake, and everything in the book. I can't be that. Right. So, yeah, man, I just want to tell you I'm proud of you, bro. Thank I feel you. like I'm supposed to say that. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I, I do. I believe that you went a long way for this. And I believe you're dedicated to this. I am. I am. I'm yes, excited to see where I go. Up. Yeah? Huh? I'm excited to see where this goes. Me too. Me too. And I appreciate I, I, I appreciate everything. Everything, man. At this moment, in this moment. Just remember that the negative thing you think is a negative. You know, you got to say in the math, a negative and negative equals a positive. True. If it only lasts so long, brother, it's temporary. True. When a storm happens, what happens? This Most exotic flowers bloom. You cannot be stuck in a storm forever. It's not possible. It's going to end. Absolutely. God bless you, my friend. I don't want to keep you on here too you much. Too. No, I, I, dude, I appreciate everything you've said. I appreciate this interview, and I hope you have a great night, and God bless. For sure. Make sure you send me the link. Absolutely. Um, and, and, and if you'd like to be a part of my podcast and you help me start up, not only is it going to bring in revenue, I'm really good at what I do. I make a lot of money okay. in anything I do. But... I'll give you an option. Like I said, a buddy of mine, he's in 30 years of his literature with his organization. Okay. And um, it's all he knows. And he was going to start it. He was going to be partnership. But he's so distracted in the worldly things of what he got going on, and he's not focusing on others. He's focusing on himself. Right. doesn't mean he's not going to be good at what he's doing. It just means right now, at this very moment, I don't believe he's for this. Right. Because if you're not focusing on yourself already, how can you focus on others? Like me, I'm already straight. I'm 100% straight. I can help as many people as I want now. Right. 
Right. Mentally, I feel good. Every day I wake up, I'm thankful. I have a smile on my face. You know, I'm able to enjoy life. Heck yeah. I truly believe I'm here now in the position to be at a, you know, I don't sit there and say, oh, God, dang, I love this. No, I don't remember that. Right. I say, Lord, thank you. I pray for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, unlimited resource, unlimited finance, unlimited guidance. Right. Protect me, hear my prayer. Every time I say that, something powerful happens. I encourage y'all to do the same, man. You could think it's a game or think it's a joke, but really try and see what happened to believe it. I can't make this up. I live it. When you're free, I would like to learn how to do a podcast because I do got one coming very soon. All right. Absolutely. Um, actually, uh, during the day, uh, when you add me on Facebook, I will be available to message basically any any time from 10 o'clock on. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say too, too early because the kids need their morning routine and stuff. Done. No, absolutely. We'll say <laughs> around like 2, 3 o'clock maybe. All right. Sounds good. Or just send me a message and we can just go from there. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, man. Well, look, shout out to you too, Puff, man. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for having the time for me. Yeah. And I hope you got something out of this, bro. I did, and I, and I, I'm I, very thankful for it. So thank you, and God bless, man. Seriously. Seriously. I'll catch you later. All right, buddy.